Hello everyone, and this is Rupal Puruid, and you're watching me on my YouTube channel. Now, you know the title of this particular video, and that is Career Options After BSc. A very, very important aspect of the BSc students. Yes, it's enormous options are available after BSc. Okay, that is what we are going to discuss. Obviously, it cannot be discussed in one particular video. So I'll be preparing some series of videos which will exactly tell you what are the various options available. So that you can pick up any one of those. And yes, the options you know very well. And that is, the achieve success. That is the bright motive to make you understand the options. And me as a teacher will be always very glad to see that my students are successful in life. So, with this particular perspective, we begin with the first session of this particular topic and that is career options after BSc. Now, let us talk about, my dear friends, the Indian education system. Okay? Now, Indian education system, if you talk about it, when a child is 10th pass and he takes science, leta hai. Okay, it's BSc, so obviously I'll be talking about what? Science. So there are some dreams in the mind of that particular student. I'm talking about majority of the students, not all the students. Or no dream hota hai unka, either to become an engineer, or to become a doctor, or a pharmacist, or a physiotherapist, or a pilot. All right, and so on. So, so these are the various dreams which are going on. And with that perspective, the science is being studied by that particular student for two years, and he finishes his twelfth standard. Now, whatever I have written over here of becoming an engineer or a pharmacist or a doctor or a physiotherapist, okay, there is a requirement of clearing an entrance exam with very good marks. So that the admissions can be obtained in good colleges. Kya me bol good colleges ka matlab ye hota hai ki aise colleges ki jahan par placements ka ek record acha ho. Main wo bolna chahta hu jab main good colleges ka naam leta hu. Because at the end of the day, the placement is very important. Okay, rather than the degree part. Alright. So once that one is being done, plus I simply say entrance exams. Okay, with a combination of both, good marks, and you go into this particular field, and after four years, five years, six years, whatever is the duration of this particular course, and the person comes out to be a professional. And because he has done it from a good college, so obviously he will be placed. Okay, this is what is the scenario. Look at my dear friends. Kya hoga un bacho ka jino ne yaha par achha nahi perform kiya hai? What is to be done? Is this the end of the road? No ways. The other option which comes out, and that is yes, going for BSc. Okay, it's going for what BSc. Now, when you talk about BSc, there are two types of BSc courses. One we talk about plain BSc, and the other we talk about professional BSc. The difference between the two is. When you talk about plain BSc, we have subjects like physics, we have chemistry, we have maths, we have botany, we have zoology, we have statistics. All right, these are the major subjects. Okay, which comes under what plain BSc. All right. Now, when you go into the professional part, professional part we have CS, IT, the most demanding ones. We have biotech. Okay, biochemistry also comes under this part. And most of the cases, the microbiology also comes. Most of them in this particular cases, biochemistry, microbiology. So these are the certain areas which I am telling. 
Okay, there are of course many other fields also, but these are the most common ones which I am putting forward in front of you. So those students who cannot perform well at this level of 12th standard and entrance exams, okay, they, they go into BSc. Not always. Okay, कोई कोई बच्चे ऐसे भी होते कि जिन्होंने शुरुआत में जब टेंथ में वो साइंस लेते तभी उन्होंने एक रोड मैप बना के रखा है बहुत क्लियर ओके के ट्वेल्थ साइंस करना है बीएससी करना है एमएससी करना है पीएचडी करना है दैट वे इट्स वेरी क्लियर बट देन द परसेंटेज ऑफ दोस स्टूडेंट्स आर लेस ओके मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव गॉट दीस ड्रीम्स ओके लेकिन दोस्तों जैसे हमारे भूतपूर्व प्रेसिडेंट उन्होंने कहा था कि सपने वो देखने चाहिए आप खुले रखें ताकि हम उसको साकार कर सके तो इसमें कुछ कमी दिखाई देती है कुछ बच्चों में और इसलिए उनके ये सपने साकार नहीं हो पाते हैं तो क्या करना है फिर बीएससी ओके इसमें दो तरीके का है बीएससी दैट इज वन इज प्लेन बीएससी एंड दी अदर वन इज प्रोफेशनल बीएससी एंड दीज आर व्हाट द कोर्सेज आर ओके द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दिस एज यू मे बी नोइंग इट Three years, okay. Three years, and then they come out with a degree, okay. B.Sc. and then whatever subject it is, C.S. I.T. Physics, Chemistry, etc., etc. Now, as the title of the video is very clear, what has to be done after B.Sc. Question mark is there, and we have to strive in such a way. Okay, the purpose of my video of this is also to bring an answer to that particular question mark. ओके okay, जो वो प्रश्न चिन्ह है उसका जवाब देना है और इसलिए मैं ये वीडियो आपके सामने पेश करने जा रहा हूं सो द क्वेश्चन इज देयर आफ्टर 3 इयर्स यू वांट टू डू अ बीएससी व्हाट नेक्स्ट राइट सो बीएससी एंड देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन मार्क नाउ टू ऑप्शंस एंड दैट इज फर्स्ट यू गोइंग टू अ जॉब All right, and the second option is further education. These are the two major options. All right, I'm talking about majority students. Please, there are exceptional cases, but then there are majority students who have two options. कौन सा कौन सा पहला ऑप्शन है या तो जॉब करना है या तो फिर आगे पढ़ाई करना है further education. All right. and i am going to discuss both of these options in front of you okay if you want to decide to do a job after bsc not doing immediately a uh, further education course immediately me bol raha because there are certain courses which you can take up after a particular time interval after your completion of your graduation theek okay? hai तो कोई ना कोई रीजन ऐसा होता है कि जिसके वजह से आगे पढ़ाई नहीं कंटिन्यू कर पाते हैं और उनको जॉब करना ही एक बहुत बड़ा ऑप्शन हो जाता है ओके ड्यू टू एनी रीजन तो व्हाट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ जॉब ओके दैट इज व्हाट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वे व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट for education objectives purposes the various fields of education that the bsc student can go into okay that will be discussed okay in the coming videos all right so in this particular video i will be concentrating on ke what type of job opportunities are available for the students who are completing their bsc either through plain bsc or through professional bsc i hope you are getting it up to this part very well now my dear friends as i told you about the opportunities in jobs so first of all when we talk about jobs in the cs and the it sector okay there are various positions which can be available once you graduate from cs and it and some of which i will try to explain over here and that is we have a software or we can consider a hardware developer then it can be a web developer a system analyst a cryptographer artificial intelligence specialist
database operator network administrator coding specialist coding as well as programming also can be considered together coding and programming specialist next we can also go into a technical writer so these are some of the fields okay these are some of the fields into which a graduate from cs or it can go into all right next part is we talk about plane sciences and we also talk about the biochemistry the biotechnology field the graduates from that particular field okay which are the areas they are attracting the bsc students and that is so we talk about plane sciences you understand the term very well and of course we talk about the biological sciences specialist so that comes as biotechnology and so on so that means you understand biochemistry microbiology and all so they can go into into the industrial part and that is into r&d field that is research and development they can go into clinical laboratories next area is quality assurance qa next quality control that is qc next they can go into production because whenever we talk about industries these are the important segments of the industry so they can go into the production when we talk about pharma companies and all okay where the students basically from chemistry are being accepted next they can go into of course this is going to be for everyone and that is marketing it looks like a very offbeat job but it's not like that my dear friends all right many times the students say that no this is not my cup of tea like it i would like to tell you and that is that it all depends upon your caliber okay a person from a marketing field can reach to higher levels also as compared to the one which is there in r&d okay r&d is considered to be a much more sophisticated job it says okay many people feel proud that yes i am in the r&d section all right but at the end of the day the success is not only by means of the name or the tag line it all depends upon the caliber or it depends upon the efficiency which you are putting up into that particular job okay this is what my point of view is and if please don't think that this is something a very off weight job no okay if you show the caliber if you show the efficiency you can reach to several heights all right so we have our marketing part as well over here okay so the fields that i am talking about right now for graduates from plane sciences and of course as i told you the biotechnology and allied courses so we have r and d then we got clinical laboratories then we got qa we have qc we have production we have marketing all right so these are the various segments okay into which you can go okay next is there is formulation which is what once again a very important division of any pharma or cosmetic industries so you can go into the formulation as well so these are the fields which you can go into other thing is this is all coming towards industry part all right from these particular courses now one important part which remains and which i want to clarify it is from that particular field i belong to i hope you understand this what am i referring to oh yes it's the education field okay now education field which i have not mentioned over here neither i mentioned over here nor i mentioned over here because right now my dear friends i am discussing about the job opportunities after graduation okay there is an um, a perspective of a post graduation also higher education of course that i will be covering up in my upcoming videos but here when i talk about with respect to the education aspect it is my firm belief 
that if you want to go into an education sector, if you want to make it as a career, okay, and if you are very serious about making a career in education field, okay, I won't stop you, okay, in going into it, but I will definitely stop you immediately if you want to go after BSc. I will definitely stop you. Because if you want to go into seriously, I'm using this word seriously, if you seriously are interested into making a superb career in education, then please don't go for this career immediately after BSc. Okay, there was another option also which I had written. Okay, and that was about higher education. So, education field, if you want to go, I write it down in bold letters, then it is compulsory after higher education. Now what kind of higher education or I can call it as a higher qualification I can use that word also and what it will be that I will be covering in my upcoming videos what type of an education what type of qualification am I talking about for education and that is I use here the another very important word if you are seeing this if you are time pass enough okay just as a side business if you want to do it okay and you want to just teach some 11 to students start students in small classes go ahead Okay, but if you are seriously interested in making a career into the education, then this is what I write it down. It's definitely after the higher education or qualification you will go into it. Okay, so this is for education field. And immediately, if you want to become a job after BSc, then these are the areas okay, where you can seriously think about it. I'm sure you have got a little bit of a knowledge of what you need to do as far as the job is concerned after getting your BSc degree. So thank you so very much for watching me and please be updated for my upcoming videos related to this topic. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you all.